What's up everyone, this is KC from Stadium Goods and I'm here to give you the ultimate guide to a classic, Air Jordan 1. Today this stands is one of the most iconic sneakers ever. Probably the reason I'm even here talking about sneakers and arguably the reason all of you guys watching are sneakerheads today. Even if this isn't the Jordan model you guys fell in love with, the Jordan sneaker legacy started right here with Air Jordan 1. Not everyone knows this, but women have played a strong role in sneakers from the very beginning. Uh, Carolyn Davidson, a woman, actually designed the swoosh logo that you see on most Nike silhouettes in all Jordan 1 styles. From 1985 all the way up until now, we got three silhouettes from the Jordan 1 style. We have Jordan 1 highs, Jordan 1 lows, and later on we got into Jordan 1 mids. The high OG is the most accurate when it comes to the material, the shape, and the branding. It has the Nike Air hair on the tongue, and the high you'll always see with the Jordan Jumpman branding on the tongue. Here we have four of the most coveted Jordan 1 colorways. We have the bread or the band ones, Chicago, Shadow, and Royal. So the bread one's kind of an obvious nickname. It's an even mixture of black and red all around this shoe. So the bread colorway, also nicknamed Band, took on his name because in 1985, uniform rules in the NBA stated that all shoes had to be at least 50% white. So this colorway was banned from the NBA at the time. Despite what Nike would have you believe, the bread Jordan one was actually never worn on court. It was actually the Nike Air shipped in the same bread colorway. So technically, only the bread colorway was banned, but the Jordan one being Michael Jordan's first signature shoe served as a great marketing myth for the band nickname. Next, we have the Chicago one. Similar to the breads, but there's actually white replacing all the black that you've seen on the breads. Michael also played in this, paying homage to his Chicago Bulls home jersey and also adhering to the NBA rules of at least 50% white. And as iconic as the breads in the Chicago's were on court, these are two very iconic off the court colorways. Michael Jordan actually never played in these two colorways, but similar color black into the breads. These are super easy to dress up and dress down. If you're jumping into Jordan ones for the first time, I definitely suggest these two colorways. We have the shadows and the royal ones. Now on to women's edition Jordan ones. First we have the panda or the twist if you're shopping the style online. Uh, this one's super cool because to the naked eye, it just looks like a black and white shoe. But if you look closer, it has this really cool soft faux fur all over the black panels. This is the Vogue Jordan 1, uh, also known as the AWOK from Anna Wintour, who is the editor-in-chief of Vogue magazine. AWOK, as you see here on the outsole, is Anna Wintour's official sign-off for all Vogue projects, and Nike was lucky to have this one from Anna Wintour. Next, we're on to the satin Jordan ones. We have the satin shattered backboards, satin black toe. The satin touch just makes these look super luxe, super femme. Jordan ones come in a wide range of prices. The original colorway is probably gonna be a little more expensive. Same with the women's exclusive colorways. However, these two colorways, still the OG high silhouette, you'll always find these two closer to retail. Um, we have the crimson tint, and the Sports Illustrated or the Star is Born. The Shattered Backboard colorway was first introduced in 2015 in this all leather shoe right here. Shattered Backboard actually got its nickname from a uniform that Jordan wore in 1985 during an Italy basketball game where he actually shattered the backboard from a crazy dunk. Since the 2015 release, Shattered Backboard came in a few more colorways and models. We got the shattered alternate right here, a little more white than black on this one. And we have the satin shattered, which is my favorite. This is one of the most recent Jordan 1 releases, the Shattered Backboard 3.0. Um, this has been getting a lot of mixed reviews, a lot of patent all over this shoe. Um, I like it, the vintage cream sole on this one. Um, this released in grade school, men's sizes, so great shoe, good pricing right now. So definitely come and grab this. With that being said, all the women who know sneakers, we appreciate you. Even the ones who don't, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what Jordan 1 you like. Let us know what Jordan you want to see retro next year. What's your grill? What's your favorite colorway? Check back in for more videos. I'm KC. This is Stadium Women. Thanks for watching.